morning, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Lisa Heller, and we start with what could be the missing piece for the Phillies. No player has hit more home runs in the majors since 2006 than Ryan Howard. Last night, he made his long-awaited return to the batter's box at Citizens Bank Park, where last season ended so painfully. Number six, first baseman, Ryan Howard. Through the air, center field. That one's deep. Going back is Ford. It may stay in the yard. It does. Ryan Howard hustling the second. He'll be there with a leadoff double. Howard nearly duplicates the return of Chase Huntley with a homer in his first at bat, but legs out the double. A good early test for that surgically repaired Achilles, wouldn't you say? He would stay on second, though, as the Phils failed to bring him home. Still scoreless in the fourth. When Howard comes up with a man on, hits one down the line. Nice play here by Freddie Freeman, who steps on the bag, throws to second to get out late. Double play would end the inning. Kyle Kendrick was good early, and he was good off it. Martin Prado doesn't take the bat off his shoulders. Jason Hayward is able to get a piece of the changeup, but Carlos Ruiz holds on. Kendrick keeps the Braves off the board through six. Braves start the seventh with back-to-back -back singles. But Kendrick bears down. Good two-seam fastball there. Gets Brian McCann looking. Dan Uglin can't do much better. He pops out to Ryan Howard and foul ground. Then Kendrick jams and Drelton Simmons to get the weak ground out the third. Kendrick throws seven shutout innings, allowing just four hits to go with five strikeouts. Howard's third at bat in the seventh. Loops a base hit to center field. The Phillies can't convert the leadoff single again. We're still scoreless. Howard finished the night two for four. Antonio Bastardo walked his way to a jam in the eighth. Freeman up with the bases juiced. Bastardo misses the pitch, his third walk in the inning, and the Braves have a one nothing lead. That brings McCann to the plate. And we flash back to May 2nd. McCann takes Roy Holiday deep to right. That was gone. This grand slam ties the game up at six. The Braves, they went on to win it, you may remember, 15-13. But Starr doesn't fare any better than Holiday did. McCann blasts one to dead center field. Shane Victorino runs out of room. Grand slam blows this ball game wide open. Braves ruin the return of Ryan Howard. They win 5 nothing. Leslie Goodell has inside access from the ballpark. It's been nine months since Ryan Howard has played a game at Citizens Bank Park. So on Friday night, his return was cause for celebration. Utley and Howard hitting third and fourth in the lineup. It was a long time coming, and Howard's two for four night reminded everyone what this team has been missing. It's nice to have, you know, Howie back and Chase. And, um, feels like the old times. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a little while, but, uh, you know, I'm here now, and uh, looking forward to being back, and uh, I'm excited. Both of Howard's hits led off innings, so there was nobody to drive in, and neither team was productive offensively through the first seven innings. Credit Kyle Kendrick for giving the team seven scoreless, and at 89 pitches, it was no surprise it took the mound to start the eight. What was surprising was that Manuel pulled Kendrick before he even threw a pitch. He had Juan Francisco, who was hitting 216 versus right-handers, stepping to the plate. Manuel defended the move after the game. I think if we get in a situation where we feel like that we, that we uh, have to use our bullpen or want to use it, I feel like that we that we got to put somebody uh, in that we, uh, that we got in some way that we uh, got to give them some experience and have faith, and, uh, have faith in them and things like that. And, you know, we were definitely trying to win the game. They just said I was going back out, so I went out, and then um, I just said he wants to start on. Nothing I could do. I mean, obviously I wanted to, wanted to pitch. Late inning struggles seem to be defining this team's season. But even as the hole gets deeper, Ryan Howard, for one, remains optimistic. Going through my situation with my, my ankle and everything, you know, I was forced to stay positive. And, you know, in a situation like this, it looks... Yeah, it looks bleak, but, I mean, there still is a lot of ball to play. And like I said, we hold our own destiny. It's, it's a matter of going out and winning series. You're not going to go out and win every single game, but, 
you can go out there and win a series, then next thing you know, you find yourself right back in the mix. Howard said we should get used to the small hitch in his stride. He also said he does have bursts of speed, but he'll be picking and choosing when to use them. And he said if a play is close, we might see some dirt fly. From Citizens Bank Park, Leslie Goodell, Comcast Sportsman. Thank you, Leslie. Coming up, our post-game live analyst, Chris Koskin.